Auto Annotate is an AI labeling tool where you just have to make a rough bounding box around an object and it will do the hard work of segmenting it. You can then click within the objects to exclude part or outside of it to include new ones. If you zoom into one of these objects, you'll notice that the output is pixel perfect, basically what you would get by labeling every pixel individually. Moreover, it's a generalized neural network. That means that it's trained on so many things that by now it's able to segment objects that include this bottle of wine or the cup next to it. You don't have to pre-select a class to do so, and you don't have to load a model that is trained on any of your objects in order to do this automatic labeling. It will just learn from the objects that you give it as an input what it's supposed to segment. This is a team effort between yourself and the AI. So there are a few things that the AI expects you to give it in order to make its job properly. One is a region that has enough padding around it. That means that you should make your bounding boxes for auto annotate large enough so that there's space all around the object. You see, if I make a tighter one around this pepper shaker over here, the output will be good, but it won't be perfect. If I add a little bit of padding at the end, it will improve significantly. It also wants to understand where the object is in the space. For example, if I want to only label this bread that is coming from outside the bowl, I only want to include that specific object with a bit of space around it, not the one that is below the bowl itself. Auto annotate will also work on objects that are occluded, but sometimes may need a bit of help. Let's take the case of these pedestrians over here. I'm going to label this man in the background and the one in the foreground is also included. This is because it still doesn't know if you need a semantic class of person or in general, that specific person. With a few clicks of excluding and including parts, I can have it understand that I'm specifically interested in this man and the bag that he is holding. I can then check that the output is correct and it looks like his belt is being confused with the other person's t-shirt. I can go into the centroid pail click the edit button for auto annotate and include that part as well. You can add and edit auto annotate instances at any point. They're kept in memory so that you may re-edit them in the future if you so wish. After I've done this, editing the person in the front is a much quicker job. I just need to make a box, include this hat and his left foot, and it looks to be complete after that. Note that every output created by auto annotate becomes a polygon. Just like every annotation within V7 Darwin, it's treated as a vector and much more lightweight to manage once it is completed. Another tip is that if you make a mistake and include an object that you're not interested in, for example, this headlight on the taxi behind this limo, you can always click on that specific instance of a correction to exclude it and essentially delete it. One more thing to mind is to not give auto annotate a large input that contains multiple objects within it if you can. For example, this person was selected with another four people around it and the model isn't doing a fantastic job at including only that one person's objects. This is the team effort I was describing before. If you give it a more narrow input that includes some padding around this lady in the front, but also only partially includes the objects around it, it'll do a much better job the first time around and it will only have to click once to make a correction. If you want to be really fine with your annotations and include things such as holes, you can always use the brush tool, which has a shortcut of F and draw within the exact shapes. Note that auto annotate also works with object parts, such as this person's face or this person's arm. They don't specifically need to be individual objects. It also works with items that are a bit unusual. For example, this whole chicken. I can exclude the one behind it, and I can also go for chicken parts. For example, this uh, drumstick and thigh combination over here. Auto Annotate is an excellent soundboard to see whether your AI, your final product, will actually be able to detect your object. It's a neural network itself, and it's made to detect and segment objects. Therefore, if Auto Annotate is detecting your objects, it's very likely that your end product will as well. Let's look a little more in depth into this concept of including and excluding objects from your box. I'm giving Auto Annotate a box that contains the cyclist and his bike, and it's creating a segmentation around both. Now removing the bike by excluding a piece of the tire and it will only select the cyclist. I re-include the bike, it will include both. I remove the piece of the tire, it will only include the cyclist. This is the teamwork a concept that I was describing before, and once you master it, you'll be able to use auto annotate much more efficiently. Finally, let's look at videos. I have a hamster that's running on a wheel, and I've created a box around it to make a segmentation mask. I can simply press the right arrow key, change the new frame, and rerun the network with the rerun button. This will adapt to a new shape, and I can simply continue doing this up until the video is finished. 
Every now and then, I will have to increase the size of the box or decrease it on one end if the hamster is moving. Right now, he's moving on a treadmill, so it won't really move all that much. This is a much faster method than drawing things frame by frame and will allow me to only do a few clicks to create a new segmentation on every frame. I am going to speed this up just to save you some time. And here's the end result. We have a hamster moving on the wheel. We'll replicate this on this Mandarin duck where we can follow the same process. We'll create a segmentation mask, press the right arrow key, and rerun the model. This is a much faster way of labeling that will create a massive change in the way you're seeing video datasets, particularly if you need to use segmentation masks. Or even just for object detection, as segmentation masks can dramatically increase the accuracy of your detector network. You can try auto-annotate now at v7labs.com slash Darwin. And don't forget to follow the Academy at v7labs.com slash Academy to see more tutorials on our platform.